Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the, the Metal, Metal City, City Chronicles. Chronicles. Got a lot done in the last few episodes. This guy's turning and burning because of all of these gear things that are turning and burning. <laughs> Lots of turning and burning. We're, look at them turn. Look at all of them turny burny. What's the beaver bush? Bushy beaver. <laughs> that should be a drink, I think. Look at all these barrel boys over here. Look at them. Look at them. Look at them all go. They're all going to refill this guy. This is this was this was a great move. This was a great move. Uh, we had some talks. We had some talks about possibly putting a bakery over here also. But it, during those talks, I forgot that this guy was here. Uh, so that was awkward. <laughs> uh, but but could still do that. I don't know. We got more turny wheelie burns things here. Also also doing the thing. Lots of things. And finally, the master channel of the Turny Bernie. <laughs> that uh, should actually get used pretty soon. Interestingly enough, this thing's not turning. Is it, uh, is it, is it broken? Can, I guess because, I think it's because these are turning in opposite directions. So it can't decide which way it should turn, so it just doesn't turn. All right, the agenda for this episode is to start moving all of our industry somehow. I don't really know how I'm going to do this. I have no plan, I think. I think I'm just going to go, like, a little bit at a time. Like, each part of the industry and figure out where I want to put it. Because we have plenty of room. So I feel like, I feel like that's, that's, that's the way to do it. It's just, like, a little bit here, a little bit there. This moves, that moves, and then figure out everything else in between. Yeah? That might be okay. I mean, I just realized that this thing would be turning the right way. This would, this should turn, this should work. Why isn't it working? Do I need to rebuild it? Maybe I need to rebuild it. Maybe it's bugged for some reason. I don't have a way to go over there if I do it. Maybe we'll wait till they're asleep and then and then try it out. All right. So if we if I just delete that, delete that, delete that, and delete that, and then give them a road around, that should temporarily work. And we're just gonna replace it. So maybe that it's not gonna be bugged this time. I don't really know why it would have been bugged in the first place, but we'll see if it turns now. Because really, that's it's a little bit confusing. That should just be working. All right, all right, it's uh, it's turning. Yeah, see, so it's turning the other way. Because before it was turning to the left, now it's turning to the right. Is was that why? But why would that be? I don't I don't really understand. Let's see. Do you have to rotate the shafts for it to work or something? That, that doesn't make any sense. We'll see once they build that one. We'll go one at a time to make sure that it all works. I guess I didn't need a road over there. I don't know why I put the road. Because they can just <laughs> they can just still walk over. <laughs> yep, look. That one pops up and it stops spinning because this wants to go in that direction. That's lame. Let's try and do the same thing. But we're going to rotate it twice. But I think that's still not going to work for some reason. That is uncool, game. <laughs> it is super uncool. <laughs> Uh, okay, if anyone has a fix, let me know. I could do, like, a four-way piece over here. Maybe that'll work. Hey, I sort of fixed it. I don't know, at least it's turning now. So, whatever. Problem solved? <laughs> I don't really know. I'm not sure if that counts as solving the problem, but, uh, it's okay. It's okay, we're gonna rebuild that. That's all gonna be turning properly, and, uh, it'll be okay. And then this, this is fine. Because maybe, in theory, like, you wanna put this there in case you want to take that power and go down you know so thematically it kind of is okay maybe it's gonna have to be because i want to turn in <laughs> all right so i'm just taking a look over here to try and figure out how much of everything we want to build and right now we got five lumber mills and that seems to have been enough overall even with our building stuff i mean a lot of time passes in between here and there but they've been keeping up pretty well and we have four gear workshops. And if anything, that might actually be like a little bit overkill. Because it's been managing to let us rebuild and build and rebuild all these tanks. But I guess we could just do the same thing. Since we do we do need gears and planks for uh to to for the mine to do the scrap metal. So it is a expended resource, sort of. Like everything everything here except for metal, is actually produced with the purpose of getting metal. Because <laughs> explosives need paper, and explosives are used in the mine. 
planks are used for gears and planks are used for treated planks, which are then both used in the mine. You know what I mean? All right, Oc Doctors, I'm a little, uh, a little disappointed in you. This, what? Oh, <laughs> man. What, what have you guys been doing? What have you guys been doing this whole time? This is unbelievable. Unbelievable, I'm disappointed. I understand it doesn't get a lot of camera time, but I guarantee you I've passed by it. I guarantee you. Somebody's getting their membership revoked, that's all I'm saying. All right. The way that we're going to start this off is, uh, is going to be a little weird. Is, uh, is, uh, yeah, yeah, we're going to, we're going to pause some things because they're in the way. I'm going to pause all that. We're going to empty these two. We're going to take this and put it over here. Why? I don't know. Because <laughs> it's in the way of me figuring this part out. But also, it's just not, we don't. I don't know. I don't know. The smelter should be on this side. I've been playing that for a while. It makes more sense for them to be near near the mine and stuff. To be over here. Eventually. So, I... That's just... That's the thing I'm going to do. I'm going to move them now. They're probably... It's probably... They're probably going to need a rebuild again after this point. But, for now at least, they'll be in the right location. That does probably mean I should blow this down, huh? Alright, so let's do that. I'm going to knock this down, put two more platforms in. Because I think we should have enough metal... Mm, almost. We're close to enough. As long as we can build this one, we'll be fine. And this is actually a perfect candidate for the Moro system. Because with these bridges, they'll be able to go to there, and this last block of line can just be planted from the side. So it's perfect. You only got to put it on one side, get the thing down, get the thing done, and get going home. Yeah. <laughs> so it's possible we pause these a little prematurely, but yeah, you know, it's fine. It's fine. Ooh, yeah. Yeah, look at all that space. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> so while everything else is going on, I'm gonna do... I'm gonna move this down. I'm not sure... I guess if we're gonna have stuff left and right, then we should make that go that way and this go that way. And this maybe the middle line can be like a... like a support primary line of power. So like... like that a thing? Is it... is that a thing? Or should we have... No, we're gonna... we're gonna try this. Pro Tamaka and Bert, you guys are super special. <laughs> How'd you get yourself locked in there, dummies? Making me ruin the- oh, oh, almost destroyed a bridge. That wasn't supposed to happen. I thought if I- you know. This is why I don't like deleting things under bridges. Great. Thanks, guys. You just cost me a bridge. Well, come on. Yeah, there you go. Go somewhere else. You too. Come on. Let's go. Chop, chop. Come on, Bert. Let's go. No? Whatever. You know what? Okay, now you're moving. Yeah, fine. I swear. I thought if I deleted things with shift, shift, delete, one click slowly at a time, that it was fine. But apparently not. Alright. Something I'm struggling with right now a little bit is that this, this logically makes sense to me. But because we're turning it this way and turning that one that way um there's only two shafts on this side now and on that side and that just doesn't feel very power shaft line drive thing <laughs> so i'm gonna rebuild some of this a little bit i'm gonna put one engine going down to another line on each side just to have a little supplementary power wherever we might need it, just to be able to balance it easier. Um, and to be able to have three lines on each side. <laughs> and I think the easiest way of doing that is actually we're gonna delete and pause. I'm gonna pause. The easiest way to do it is to pause. Just trying to figure out a way to do this the best way. Might involve just deleting this right now. Actually, you know what? I don't care. I, I'm gonna I'm gonna just start this whole thing from scratch, because it'll just be easier, so I can see all of it. We're gonna do first engine. First engine is gonna be our engine that goes down, right? 
So that's the engine that's going to go down and be supplementary power. And we're just going to turn that thing this way. And it's actually going to be really easy, relatively speaking, for that to exist right there. And we're eventually going to mirror this on the other side. Then the next two engines need to be... I think the next two engines are going to be the primary spine. The primary power in the middle. Which will also be the two from the other side. That'll be like the primary power of the entire colony which i guess maybe that almost doesn't i don't like that this one's alone so maybe no that's fine screw it that's fine whatever yes i could have not destroyed the final platform but i did it anyway okay <laughs> leave me alone all right so these two engines are going to be the central point of power somehow although no it doesn't make sense this one should also be that one. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, see, this is this is why you work backwards. You work backwards, you figure it out. It's okay. It's okay. And actually, that means it makes more sense. So that, okay, we're deleting that again. Second engine is actually going to go down. Yeah. Yeah, now we're talking. Okay, second engine goes down. Connects under there to this rod. And this engine is going to connect to the second level. All right, so that actually makes it a lot easier. So the second engine goes down and forward, and the second, or the, the first engine is just straight across over here, which is uh, pretty simple, relatively speaking. Uh, we're gonna have to rework the middle line, obviously, so we can get rid of, if I can even click in there, that shaft there is gonna have to go, and that's obviously gotta go. So basically, each side is gonna have two auxiliary power lines, and the primary shaft is this one. Which is going to end up, going to end up being the middle one. And it's possible at some point we combine some of these engines with some of these auxiliary shafts to see where we want them to go. Like, we can, we can, we can switch this around a bit here and there just to see, like, depending on what we need. But right now, I just want to establish a basic guideline. So the last thing to do is to reconnect the last engines to the middle somehow. All right, so this is where we're at right now. We got the lines going all the way through, all the things combining properly and looking mostly cool. I think it looks pretty cool. Uh, we just need to f do this going down somehow. We might just combine it over here and go down twice. That could work. I think that's the only way that it would work, actually. All right, that means we got to redo the top again. Hmm. <laughs> Mostly because they can't really reach over here. So the only way to reach over there is for them to be able to walk over here and then build downward. So we got to delete that. We just got to do this all at once. Wah, wah, wah. All right. So the idea being that this, because we can't, I don't think we can. Yeah, we can't. Okay. So this is going to go straight and combine here. And then we're just going to shift downward twice like that. I think that's the best way to do it. Since it's going to be combining from that side as well. Which I guess we might as well just do now. Alright. So that's the thing that we got right now. And... Uh, yeah, okay. I'm, uh... <laughs> I think I like it. Uh... I don't know. Some of you express concern and dislike for the wall of power lines. But it's very Iron Teeth, man. Look at this. That's so Iron Teeth. Hashtag... It's like super iron teeth. <laughs> they would do this. Is there a better and easier, less complicated way to do this? Yes. Will it look as industrial and cool? No. And that's what we're going for. Uh, I guess I might as well just copy over this side like that. Since we're not really using the engines except for the last two, which aren't connected anyway. And uh, I'll see you on the other side. Hey, it's all done and built. Hooray, 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 hooray. Okay. So now, now we got that out of the way. <laughs> now we'll have three lines going on each side. Plus, it looks cooler with the five there. I mean, I was wrong before. Before I said five looked like too much. No, I was wrong. Five is just right. <laughs> and now we move on. So with that all blown away, we can get rid of these bridges. 
and platform last one i mean not really but kind of sort of <laughs> all right uh once that's built we're gonna we're gonna plop down some smelters up here and actually we can build the power lines or at least use two power lines we're gonna build them out this way and so two engines are these two lines which will power the smelters for the time being yeah yeah that's a good move I guess we might as well do that over here, too. Uh, okay, so we want to do... Alright, so that's going to be... I don't know if that's going to be the permanent path, but that's going to be a path that we do. So it's going to be like... We're going to have these little walkways over the power lines. I mean, I guess alternatively, you could push power lines up and, like, over walkways. I don't really know if that's preferred. I feel like this makes more sense. But this looks kind of cool. It's a cool little... <laughs> little tunnel walkway thing I don't know we'll see maybe we'll use both okay kind of a big time jump here but there we go we got we got the smelters it's not gonna be a permanent location like I said but this is kind of kind of kind of like what we're gonna be going with for the for the whole thing and uh yeah man I don't know I don't know I don't know <laughs> How do we feel about the power lines just going across like that? I mean, that's not what it's going to look like over here, but I don't know. It's cool. It's cool. And these guys are getting a proper amount of power because there's two lines, each one of one each engine. So it's whatever. Whatever, man. And I was doing some heavy thinking while I was doing that. Uh, and I, I think I came up to, I think we're going to do, I think I'm going to run these to the middle. So like, like that, I guess. And then just branch them downward. Like, is that a thing? The other thing I was thinking is along the edge here, I was thinking of doing, like, maybe even with metal fence, if that's not too crazy. I mean, that's a huge use of metal that we don't have right now, but I was thinking of doing, like, a little side viewing area thing. Like, something like that, so that, like, because if the middle area ends up being our promenade, this could be, like, a little upper walk area where people can just walk and look down, see what people are doing, you know, just, like, hanging out, like, doing whatever they want to do. Yeah? I mean, it's kind of neat. <laughs> I think I, I think it's cool. We could even do it all the way across here, too. I mean, we have space. So we got to use that space. You know what I mean? Kind of like that. Like, that's kind of neat, right? I mean, if we're going to have an edge to our city, which we do, might as well make it nice looking. I don't know about all the statues. That's a lot of metal. If we're going to do that, I might as well do the metal edges. I mean, that looks pretty cool. Because I was trying to figure out where to put industry and how to put them. And, like, I didn't know what to put on the edge. And it's like, whatever you put on the edge is going to look, like, at least somewhat ugly. Because it's, you know, the side or the back of a building. But then I had this idea. And, uh... I think... Yeah. Yeah, we're going to do it. We're going to do it. That's going to be... I don't know. <laughs> like, four or five hundred metal. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Uh, I just looked at the, uh, population, and, uh, we're, we're advancing over 200 here pretty, pretty rapidly because of the new, uh, new tribute. So I paused two breeding pods. I'm not sure... One's not gonna be enough. I'm not sure if two's too much. <laughs> or not enough. I don't know. I don't know, but... But I, but that's that's happening. I paused to. I honestly might even just get rid of them. Okay, cool. And also, 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 uh, this is all getting built out. But uh, we're almost out of time. We're almost out of time because you know the time that is the time that it is. It's montage time.
And that's the end of the wet season. And we had some flooding again. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> Keeps all happening, man. Ooh, and we got a 59-day drought. Oh. <laughs> Alright, all I can really think of as far as why it's flooding is that I think the dam to dam situation where it's going from these dams into those and then hitting the wall I think is causing a lot of turbulence. So we're going to delete that. We're going to put just platforms, like regular platforms, and then we're going to do that. And hopefully that fixes it because I'm real tired of dealing with it. It just doesn't make any sense. Because this side keeps just flooding all over the place. Meanwhile, this side is only one one level deep and is fine. And there, the water is the same coming from here. So it just, it just doesn't make any sense. I also filled in these gaps. <laughs> they were bothering me a little bit. And uh, now they're not anymore. <laughs> also, in case any of you are wondering, at the start of the uh, wet season, we had, we had water back here. I was because I was trying to test out a theory to see if not using all the pumps would be better because basically i was thinking like if we only have these pumps active and not these ones then all these guys can be haulers and can be hauling water from there which would make them more efficient and faster maybe but i i'm pretty sure i was wrong <laughs> so <laughs> so we're not doing that again all right so the first thing we really got to do I'm, I'm just i've been sitting here and staring and trying to figure this out is uh is you got a place that's weird if you're placing a building and you turn the UI off, it gets rid of the arrow. So you can't... <laughs> it's dumb. <laughs> um, so I was thinking, basically, if the power lines are going to run down the middle here, either way, I want to have lumberjacks over here, like near the wood, right? And that's basically as far as I got. <laughs> I mean, I want to have little warehouses underneath for storage of things, at the very least, for some of them. And then we need gear workshops over here also. And that would be kind of like the foundation of things. But I'm having some trouble figuring out how I want to do that. You know, it's possible the first thing we should really do is figure out food before everything else. And by food, I just, I mostly mean like the mills. Like something like that. But it doesn't, uh, doesn't look so great. All right, so... Here's where we're at. <laughs> uh, this is, this is, this is going to take forever for me to figure out. So I feel like at this point, uh, I need input. I need input from you guys. Basically, as it stands, okay, as it stands, what I'm thinking is I want to have small warehouses and I want to have some lumber mills on top, at the very least, to start out, like over here. And nearby will be gear workshops. I want to have a few small warehouses for intermediate goods and just local storage so that things are faster produced. Okay? So, those have to be somewhere. I'm thinking of leaving extra room for things to go. I'm thinking the food needs to be over here, at least the mills. And maybe even with stairs coming from the top going down. So we could possibly have mills back here, like that. Uh, against the wall, but that doesn't feels a little too pushed away because mainly I mean most of them are gonna be working on wheat That's over here. So that's kind of like the thing that I'm thinking But it's also possible that we could just put them sideways over here or against or in line over here I don't know point is I want to I want to try and get this going on on the first try <laughs> <laughs> want to get it right. The idea is to have power lines coming down the middle and have a little bit of everything all over the place, like in little groups that the power lines hop, you know, plug into whatever. And I don't know. I mean, that's that's just gonna take like a whole episode on its own. So I'm kind of ending it here. Hopefully, this episode is not too short. I t feel like not a lot got done, <laughs> and that's my bad. Because of how timing worked out, I guess. I don't know, man. I'm still trying to figure it out. Because right now, I'm a little lost. So, aside from that, I love you guys. I'm Moro. Like the video. Subscribe if you're not. And I'll catch you guys next time.